Hey guys, welcome. This is Kino. I am playing on the Veteran Game Monarch server, and today I'd like to show you something about the Redstone Comparator Clock. For all of you advanced Redstoners, you might remember this little circuit, and uh, don't be afraid, hang on, I do have some nice updates with a reset button and all, but for all of you who have never seen this before, let me show it in action. Here we have a dispenser and let me put a few items inside and you will see the dispenser will start firing the items as soon as the dispenser runs out it will stop firing the items so how does this work? first of all we have an inventory, in this case the dispenser and a comparator next to it and the comparator is actually the key component it reads the amount of items in the uh, inventory on its back so in this case the dispenser and based on the amount of items it will send a certain signal strength the more items the stronger the signal the repeater will actually boost and delay the signal and then the redstone wire turns back into the comparator and this actually makes the clock since the signal is boosted it will be more powerful from the side turning the comparator off turning off the repeater turning off the comparator again allowing the inventory of the dispenser to power it again and there we go we have a circuit now you can actually see that a bit better if I delay it a little bit so now it is on 4 ticks and you can see these two alternating as soon as this turns on the comparator turns off as soon as it turns off it turns on again because of the inventory of the dispenser my advice will be to always have it on the fastest mode possible since it will make sure your dispenser will stay empty. Um, you will notice a problem with this if you fill it up almost completely, or in this case completely. If there is over, if there is too many items in here, you will actually give a stronger signal to the comparator than the signal from the repeater is, since it is a bit weakened when you get around the corner. You can reverse this by actually placing the comparator and the redstone in a different order. And the downside about this is, as you can see, if there is not enough items in here, the power will not reach back into the dispenser. You can put another repeater here which solves it, it does make it a bit slower so let me show you if we place another repeater here it gets a bit slower but it will almost always work now let me show you how to do this with a reset button here is the design I've made next we have again our dispenser with a hopper on top this time same startup and then we have a block. So the redstone repeater runs into the block and actually powers the redstone signal. And here comes the interesting part. We have a repeater facing into the comparator, giving it the highest possible signal. And only a fully stuffed dispenser will stop it from working. And of course the redstone is powering the dispenser as well to empty it. To reset it, I have extended this piston, so the block is now powered. Once this piston retracts, the power will drop, dropping the power in here. When it, re it extends again, the power will turn on. And there we go, an item is, is dispensed, and it works again. So I have a redstone torch, redstone wire, and a button. There we go, it works again. And it is actually very hard to clog up again, so let me try that. Yes, there we go. And again. This system will not stop unless there is a chunk loading something going on. And you have a reset button. Let me turn it off again. These small redstone components are very useful for many farms. 
I have used uh, this in my video about automatic crafting. I, am, I have used it in my chicken farms. It's in a flower farm I built. And I even put it in a sugarcane farm. So it's a very common use. You can use it to transport items. You can use it to fire arrows or fireballs at people. Dispense water. Uh, very useful. If you've liked this tutorial, please leave a like. I will see you later.